cool. Now you'll notice at the top, you don't have a name for this file because it's not saved yet. But if you click on that arrow on the left above the white arrow, you'll see that it's saved. Everything you do in Illustrator, it gets saved into the iPad uh, Illustrator uh, files. Do me a favor, underneath your drawing where it's got the three dots, click on that and then click on rename. And you could put uh, my first Illustrator drawing or you could put first Illustrator. And so this is giving it a name, perfect. So now it has a name. Um, open it, double click on the picture to open it. So it's saved in the Illustrator iPad memory, but if something happens to the iPad or if you wanna work on it somewhere, you don't have it, it's just on the iPad. So we're gonna save it one more time. Go to the upload icon. I don't know if you know which one that is. Yep, that's it. Up on the top, the box with the arrow, click publish and export. And what's gonna happen is you can save it in five different files. AI is an Illustrator file. So if you save it as an AI, you can open it on another computer or send it to somebody. And if they have Illustrator, they can keep messing with it. Uh, but the only problem is if you send an AI file to somebody that does not have Illustrator, they can't open it. So you would save it as a PDF because I think everybody can save a PDF. So for right now, we're going to save it as an AI and we're going to save it in the Google Drive. So hit export. Now it gives you the choice of where to, you can email it. You could uh, send it. Okay, and it doesn't look like your Google Drive's on there. Hit the home button. Hit the home button and we'll get the Google Drive going. Click on manager. Type in Google Drive. So I'm glad this is happening in case people don't have Google Drive. You click on Google Drive, it'll install it. And so now you'll have that on your iPad. So. Open up Illustrator again. And when you open up Illustrator, it'll probably tick up right where we left off. So double click on, okay. So hit export. Now, if you scroll on the top thing, you, we should see the Google Drive. Let's check to see if it's there. There it is. So select Google Drive and uh, yeah, choose account. Usually in your Google Drive, you have different folders. So you might create an art folder or just click on my drive and then it'll just save it in there. Okay, my drive. So you can click save here. So you click my drive and then save here and then later make an art folder and save your stuff in there. And once you hit save here, it'll save it in there. 